My granddad was T.W. Hawkins, and he uh, came to Alaska during the gold rush. So he decided he'd get on the, the boat going over to Seward to see what it was like. He built two of the three buildings that are here. The third one, where the candy store is today, was originally built as the Seward Club. It was a saloon and a gambling hall. It's kind of fun showing off a building this old. This was the original bank vault here. It was in this store for the Bank of Seward and the Brown and Hawkins Bank. My grandmother started Seward's first candy store. I believe that was 1908. Hers was the Palace of Sweets, but we bought it all when we started Sweet Darlings. what gelato was. We had no idea. And so in this small town in southern Italy on a nice warm day, I look up and there is a sign that says gelateria. And I said, Iris, I found out what gelato is. And uh, of course, fell in love with it. it. You know, it had such a great taste and so many great flavors. And that was our first exposure to it. We immediately came back and, uh, and tried to find out what it would take to make gelato in Alaska. Something that's kind of interesting is the difference between gelato and ice cream. It's got more air whipped into it, so it's fluffier, whereas the gelato's got less air, so it's more dense. It's richer, more creamy. Real Oreos right into the batch. You want to kind of make them look so that they look like off the Grinch, you know those uh, Mount Crumpet, kind of like that, the snowy mountain. My husband loves candy, so he is eating his way through sweet darlings. I've got a sweet tooth, I like them all. Seward. We'll always be back in Seward and our hearts in Seward, but uh, we don't want to be in business forever. Hoping that someone will come along that loves our candy store as much as we do and carries on the name of Sweet Darlings. And it is a good little business. My grandmother is really good friends with Iris. I've grown up with the family. I've actually worked here in the back when I was a kid in multiple stores because they used to have a store down in the harbor. Back in October, my grandmother kind of just threw in her idea, why don't you guys take over Sweet Darlings? We were living back in Michigan. I had this corporate job that I just hated. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Hugh's mother owned a candy store a long time ago, you know, Virginia Darling. Our chocolates here, they're all by weight. The foundation was already laid out for us. Blue flavored gelatos are all sorbets, so they're all dairy free. Here, let me weigh that for you. All right. We're here because of that. Sea foam, yeah, have you ever had sea foam? This is sea foam, baking soda, sugar, corn syrup, coated with chocolate, put a little sea salt on top. It's delicious and good for you. Bear Falls, they have caramel and pecans. Every great town has a candy store and, and Sweet Darlings is, is it. This is the, the classic fudge, the maple walnut. We are not gonna let this, this thing fall apart. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. My amazing wife makes it. It's great to, to be back and, and actually be part of the city and do something instead of just make money and, and run. You know, that's all about life is being ambitious and, and that's how you get ahead, you know, is you take that, those leaps.